right, so we are just continuing what we did on Monday. On Monday, I gave you class time to work on your um, next Pixlr project, which is assignment, ah, assignment number seven, and that's due on Wednesday. And that's a spin-off project. Um, basically, you're using um, any digital applications. It doesn't have to be Pixlr and you are doing another digital assignment that can include your photography, your drawing, and you can double layer, you can triple layer, you can manipulate it however you want. I have here, um, everybody should have given input last week on ideas for a spin-off art project for assignment seven and eight. So Mauricio, you can review this here if you are struggling to understand what that's all about. I'm gonna go ahead and underline it here for you. Okay, um, I also told you guys about the progress report that is due. Um, you have until Monday of next week to turn in anything to raise your grades if it was in the 89s or lower. If it's in the 90 to 100, that makes me feel like it's passable for the AP exam for any venture beyond that. So I explained that... Um, you must, if you're an AP student, have slides one through seven posted for the report card, for the progress report, which is due on 2-8. That's Monday, okay? Go later than Monday. So you even have the weekend to work on that, including your EQs on those slides, your ideas, and your title on each one of those. So a lot of you need to revise that to make sure that it has everything on the slide for your exam. So that's really important. Um, we talked and I showed a few examples the other day, but because Mauricio wasn't here, I'm gonna go ahead and show it again. Um, for example, I got Miss Patterson here. She did some great work. One of the questions was, do you have to do uh, EQs and essential questions on number one, the mind map? No. This one has enough proof of evidence and practice. Now, a lot of you were missing um, practice sketches, EQs, the ideas of inquiry, and a title for a lot of your pieces. Um, she should have also posted her four sketches because I always have you do four sketches before you begin and that's not here, so she's gonna need to tweak that. So number two is almost done. Her number three, ah, I don't know why it went to this. Um, hold on one second. Her number three is missing the title, it's missing the four sketches, it's missing the EQ and the ideas of inquiry. So she needs to go back and redo this one. All right, does that make sense, Mauricio? So one through seven, they need to look more like this. Does that yeah, make it makes sense? sense. I've been talking about this for weeks. Okay. Um, so I've example, been having, I'm not going to interrupt. I'm in the middle of a recording. You do know that, right? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, we can talk afterwards. So example number four, she has her sketches. She's showing her progress. She could have showed some um, research images that it helped her in, um, inspire this piece but it's missing the title, it's missing the EQ, the ideas, so she needs to go back and fix that one. On this one, this one's perfect. This one has the EQ, it has the ideas, the grammar looks pretty good, um, she has a nice title, she's showing her stages and her sketches. This one is perfect. So I expect to see that you know, on each one of these. Number six, looks perfect she even has two different pieces on here which i think is really interesting and she has her sketches and so um you know it makes perfect sense um with her questions and her ideas i think she could have talked more about space and this whole beaming soul i would have liked to have seen some explanation um further on that deeper about the meaning of that symbolism and then she just needs number seven. Number seven will be her um, spin-off project. And that's everything that's going to be graded on this progress report. Now, if you're in special studies, you do not have uh, this AP exam to post your work. So that's one less thing you have to do compared to your peers. But you do need to raise your grades on those slides by making sure you have your final pieces and your EQs. So uh, I'm still checking for all of that.
for special studies on your actual slide. So if you have some late work that's, you know, lower than an 89, you're going to say, Ms. Brown, can you take a look at assignment number three? I put the final artwork on there and then I can update those grades. And that's what I'll be doing um, all the way till Monday. Okay. So a few of you didn't have your paragraphs for that slideshow. That was important as well. A few of you didn't um, add the key for your AP exam. That's another thing. Change AP key. There was a few of you that didn't do those 10 points and need to. I don't know if there's anybody in this class. Let me look really quick. That way I have it on record in this recording. And you can't say you didn't know because you were absent or whatever reason. So let me look really quick. Um, here, it looks like say bid is missing it still. I don't know why you haven't changed the key. Moises, you're there, perfect. Who is the other student that needed a grade for this? There was three of you. Um, Yasmin. Yasmin, did you do it? Yeah, but it didn't show you three on yours, so I don't know if it shows right now. It doesn't show. I bet you didn't press save. I bet you did it, but you forgot to press save at the bottom of your computer screen. I'll do it again. That's the common mistake. You guys change it, but you don't press save. Okay. I'm okay. So yeah, do that and then I'll give you your points. Okay. I bet that's exactly what happened because it should be here and it's not. And so those are basically everything. Let me just make sure I have it all here. Um, I'm gonna add, this is grading time of updated artworks. And is there anything else I need to talk about? And I'll just be helping people, advising. Remember, I am here for student support if you need further assistance. I don't put all of this information here for you not to read. It's here for you to read because a lot of you are forgetful. And uh, if you keep asking me questions and you're not even bothering to look at this, that's kind of insulting. So I take the time to outline it for you so it's crystal clear. You need to take the time to read it and review it. Matter of fact, you can even watch this video that I'm posting right now so that you're not confused. It's not my fault if you weren't listening or paying attention. That's kind of on you. It's not my fault if you were absent. That was you. And you need to take ownership and work on that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video and help people individually. And we're going to support each other. We're going to get the highest grades we could possibly get because we're all working.